uh, in the Buffalo area since before the snow even hit. We were actually with Katie last night, her and her crew doing an incredible job uh, taking us into the scene. Let's go ahead and take it out to Katie in West Seneca, New Ooh. York, where it looks like, Katie, that hose of snow has calmed for a little bit. You know what? It's a lot different from what we were dealing with at this hour last night. Remember, the snow had just really been picking up at that time, uh, and it really set the scene for a very busy night for us. But we decided to move a little south of the downtown area of Buffalo here in West Seneca, where they actually were seeing some of the most highest snowfall totals that we had been seeing all throughout the last 24 hours. So uh, seeing some light up. Some cars light up behind me. It looks like that might be a plow truck there, but I wanted to show you what some people are dealing with out here. Obviously, these are cars, um, but they are completely covered in snow. You can tell uh, this is going to take a really long time for people to shovel out of this. This is wet, heavy snow. It's dangerous, honestly, to shovel snow like this all at once. So I think a lot of people are deciding to wait it out. Um, and listen, it's good advice, but I want to show you how heavy and hard it is to move around in this kind of snow. I wanted to take a little measurement here, but I just messed up my my little, my spot because of how heavy it was. Let's see, this might be a good area. We know that this area had 36, oh, you know what this is? This is actually, we had this happen before. I mean, we're in a parking lot, so this isn't like the best gauge, but we have seen it at 36 inches this is about 31 inches. It kind of varies depending where you're where you're looking, but sometimes that yardstick will just disappear depending on where you dropped it. So that's what people are dealing with here. A lot of people deciding to wait it out, not shovel out today and maybe do it tomorrow or Sunday instead because the snow hasn't stopped yet. We know the National Weather Service said the hardest hit areas, they just tweeted about this, are gonna get a few hours of a break. And we're definitely in that right now. This is the first time it actually hasn't been snowing in hours since about 3 p.m. today. Marissa? You know, I've got to ask you, uh, yesterday, we, we were having a little bit of fun, right? We had you make a snowball. The first time you made one, it was kind of wet and slushy. And then a couple hours later, it was it was surely a snowball, right? Is uh, is that the wet and heavy snow sticking around that, that we were talking about towards the end of the show yesterday? This is the fluffy stuff. Like, mm. you can tell that this is layered, different types of snow that came down. I mean, this snow that we saw in this area was a lot different than the snow that we saw coming down in the city of Buffalo last night, where every hour the type of snow really changed. Sometimes it was pellets, tiny little pellets hitting your face, like little ice balls. And then and sometimes it actually felt like a misting of rain. It was just really wet. Uh, today we saw just a very consistent flurries coming down, flaky snow, and it just really didn't quit for a long time. And there was wind a little bit, and so it was swirling around a little bit. So that looked different from what we saw yesterday when at times uh, we were live with you guys and we saw the snow basically parallel from yeah. such strong wind gusts that we were seeing. Yeah, I know it was tough to stand out there last night, especially as it was amplifying. I want to ask you too, Katie, because it looks like a lot of the lights are on and the concern going into this was the potential for power outages. I mean, you see how heavy and how much snow is behind you. Had you not told us those were cars, I don't think I would have guessed that. Um, but it does appear like the lights are on around you at this, not impacted as much. You know what? Outages have been so minimal and uh, it's been great for a lot of people because I think people were concerned about going into a storm like this in cold temperatures, potentially losing power. I will tell you at the hotel we're staying at, uh, a lot of the people who are staying here are linemen waiting to step in if outages do, you know, ramp up and that's something that they have to respond to. But at last check, there were a little over 2,000 uh, customers without power in New York State, vast majority of them here in Erie County. That number has been kind of fluctuating throughout the afternoon and evening. We've seen it go up and go down. Uh, but right now, right around two to 3,000 people without power. And we'll keep you updated on if that changes. Yeah, Marissa? it's tough to be without power, obviously, when it's also in the 30s and temperatures are falling overnight. Real quickly, I want to ask you, because this is a potentially life-threatening situation, right? If you're not using common sense, if you're out on the road, if you're lifting something that's too heavy trying to clean, that's an obvious thing. But I also want to point out, I've seen a lot of video today of kids having fun, dogs pouncing through the snow. I mean, Katie, have you ever been in, you know, a few feet, if, close to four feet of snow before? You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I have. I, I'm thinking back to the blizzard of 
of 2021. Was it 2022? I can't even remember. We covered so many snowstorms last year, but I was in Rhode Island for that blizzard. That was a wild scene, but I thought the snow last night, just the different variation of what we were seeing every half hour was so fascinating. It was the most impressive snowstorm that I've covered to date. I'll tell you some of the fun things that we've seen out here today. People have whipped out their snowmobiles. Mm -hmm. That's something I haven't seen in a little bit. Uh, we've also seen people on skis getting around their oh, neighborhoods yeah. that way. So like yeah, cross country, you skiing. know, whatever works. Yeah, you would need cross country <laughs> skis to get around in that type yeah. of scenario. All right, Katie. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe in between hits, you can build us a little uh, little snowman or maybe even a snowball man. I don't know. I'm just trying to help you pass the time out there. <laughs> we'll check. We'll check back in with you here in just a bit. OK, we'll work on something for you. <laughs> I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.